Protection from discrimination is central to the human rights order. In fact, the ban on discrimination is the only right included in all nine of the core human rights treaties. Since its beginning, the European Union has been trying to legislate to provide better protection for Europeans against discrimination in Europe. Since the 1970s, we've had laws related to the ban on discrimination between men and women, in treatment between men and women. And since 2000, we have a, a new set of laws in particular focused on the ban on discrimination based on racial or ethnic origin. But there are still huge gaps. And in fact, uh, not yet covered sufficiently are the areas of age, sexual orientation, religion or belief, and disability. That's why on July 2nd, 2008, the European Commission proposed a new law, a European Union level law, that would ban discrimination in those areas. July 2nd, 2018 is coming up, and that will be the 10th anniversary of the start of the effort to pass that law. And unfortunately, it's not yet successful. The European Union has not yet adopted this comprehensive anti-discrimination law. We here at the UN Human Rights Office decided to look and think carefully about what that means for protection of people in Europe against discrimination. There are 508 million people in Europe. 10 years in hours is 87,600 hours. Or, said differently, minutes, that's 5,256,000 minutes. That means that the 508 million Europeans have in effect been waiting for the European Union two quintillion, 670 quadrillion, and 48 trillion minutes for an effective ban on discrimination in the areas of age, religion or belief, sexual orientation, or disability. And if you think about it, any particular person in Europe may be affected by discrimination in one of those areas. That's why we and many others are saying to the European Union, it is time to provide protection for millions against discrimination, and that you can do that simply by adopting the draft horizontal anti-discrimination directive. We hope that you too will tell your European lawmaker that it's time to stand up for you.